Hi, I'm Kathy Stout, and I'm here to tell you the story of the caddis fly. We are going to visit some beautiful places in West Virginia, such as Spruce Knob Lake, and also down here in Dallas Pike, West Virginia. The caddis fly is a unique insect that builds these beautiful stone cases out of stream pebbles. We're going to view some of these caddis flies creating their cases, and also we're going to look at the beautiful art that they create when given gemstones from around the world. So join me as we go and we learn more about the caddis fly. Here's a couple of caddis flies that I just found in the stream. Some of them have already started building, some are already in their full cases, so it's kind of interesting to see how well they blend into their environment. Once they start building, they'll, they'll just add one stone on at a time until their whole case is completely done. Some of these still have leaf particles, leaf part of their cases showing, but in another week or two, these guys will all have stones completing their cases. You would see how most of the leaves in this stream have really been chewed up on. So these caddisflies are eating, they're growing, and they're gonna produce lots of babies after they emerge and end on me. So the time that I like to collect them is right here when they're still in the leaf case. Um, we're a little late in the season, so a lot of these guys will be in stone cases, but uh, we'll, we'll bring them into our lab and give them some cool stuff to work with anyway. You're pretty camouflaged in their environment, so you, when you're looking for something that looks like a leaf, it can really blend in there to the point where you really almost can't see them, but these guys... Once you look for that uh, triangular shape, boy, here's a whole bunch. This is what I like to find, a bunch at a time. This is another caddis fly that's building with sticks. It also lives in the same environment, eating the same leaves, but they only build with sticks and bark. So they don't like to build with leaves or stones. They stick with the sticks and bark. But they're also pretty camouflaged, so you can't really see them. This flat leaf case here is one of these as a larva. This caddis fly will actually transition and build just those sticks and bark. So that's the, uh, the two main caddis flies I find in these streams. They're doing nothing but helping out our environment by actually breaking down all this leaf material. Here's two caddis flies on this leaf. You have to look really hard to see them because they do look just like the leaf. But they're both at the right size, being about an inch long. That tells me that the larva is big enough now to want to come in and start building with stones. They would naturally pick up little stone substrate in this stream, but I'm going to offer them the best of the best. Malachite, garnet, even emerald this year. So my caddis will be working with some pretty nice gemstones. So this guy is going to use the bigger pieces. So lots of different. Different caddis flies build with different things, so they're never really competing for substrate matter. They all have their own thing. There's a baby leaf guy. Very small for this time of year. I don't know why he's so little. They all blend in with their habitat. Here is another caddis fly that builds with predominantly stick and bark. They, um, I think are very ingenious because they really are very hard to see in the stream. They start off with a long stick and then on top of that long stick they will start shredding the um, bark off larger pieces of sticks in the stream and using that they glue that together to cover their body but then these long extra pieces of stick are there to kind of camouflage them. It's also a lot harder for a fish to eat this big stick guy. <laughs> the trout will try, but a lot of times uh, the bug will get away before the, they actually get consumed. Come on out, say hello. As long as their body's moist and wet, they won't come out of their case. 
they will hang in there until they push the water out and then they'll come out. Every year I come out and I collect more caddis flies. They won't breed in captivity. Unfortunately, caddis flies will, um, after they emerge as an adult, the adults fly away. The male will have to fly and search for another female, but they won't mate with the same female from the same hatch. So unless they're able to fly and find another female from a different hatch, they won't mate and they die. So that's why I let everybody go and they do their own thing. But that also means that I have to come out every spring and get new caddis flies. Here's another little part of these streams up here in the mountains of West Virginia where it's just a little side stream off of the main uh, creek in the area. Slow moving, lots of vegetation just this yet and lots of different um, green vegetation. But in here, I just looked down and I found three or four different species of caddis flies. We've got our traditional leaf case, who is also transitioning into the stones. But then, Dave can get close on this little guy at my fingertip. It's one of these little cornucopia types of caddis flies. He builds just the little tiny sand grains. And um, they're, they're all over the, the bottom of this little stream here. But then, this guy, this is very cool. I'm gonna switch positions of these bugs. This is a stone case attached to a group of other stones, larger and smaller, where this is an old case from last year, and there's another caddis fly who builds with larger rocks. He hides inside that, and he kind of filter feeds. He doesn't move around very much with this. This is a pretty big case to move around with. But where he is, he's living underneath this, this rock, bottom rock, uh, right in the middle of where these rocks are together. But they will use old cases that were discarded from last year in their case. And I, this is the third one I found up in the stream, and I think it's just really pretty cool. So like I said, nothing goes to waste. These caddis flies use everything from last year and this year. Um, so we'll probably pick up a few more of these little guys before we head out back to Cuba. So when I bring the caddis flies into my lab, they're still in their leaf case. My lab is designed to have different sections of streams set up with different substrate material for them. Some substrates turquoise, some yellow tiger's eye, they even have malachite and gold nuggets. Once the caddis flies are placed in my simulated streams, they will start constructing their stone case. They're always in their leaf case, so they're adding the stones to their leaf case and slowly moving into their stone case. While they're building their stone case, they have a glue that they secrete. This is a silk that they spin. The silk is used to secure each stone that they're placing in their stone case. It may take up to a month for these caddis flies to complete their stone case, but remember, the caddis is never going to be unprotected because they're moving from their leaf case into their stone case. One interesting fact that I found while watching them is when they're in a habitat with gold nuggets, such as the malachite with the gold nuggets, these caddis flies will search for the gold. It's a heavy, denser material. Therefore, it's going to ensure that their case is going to be heavier and stronger in the stream, and they won't be able to be washed downstream as easily when the heavier rains come in the spring. At the end of the summer, these caddis flies will seal themselves inside these cases and it then becomes their cocoon. They actually go through metamorphosis for about four weeks and when they emerge as an adult, the adults will fly away, leaving these cases behind. Some pre-adults can emerge right off the water. Some will actually climb out of the water and on a rock. This one is sitting on my finger. If you watch closely, you can see the back split open. This is where the adult will be pushing off this pupil skin and emerging out. 
It is a beautiful process to watch, and this is in real time, so it takes a few minutes. This adult is struggling to get that skin off. Sometimes it comes off easily, sometimes it doesn't. Once it does come off and his wings are fully formed, he'll have to pump his wings to push through the fluid through his wings so that eventually he'll be able to fly in a few minutes. Flies emerge. What's left behind are their empty cases. The cases at that point are very fragile. So what I do to ensure that the cases are preserved is I use a cheap part epoxy. This epoxy takes 24 hours to set. So I can make sure that when the glue is put into these cases that it seeps through the natural soap which is holding the cases together and preserves them in their natural state. Once the cases are secured and glued, I either put a silver hole 